and the story was of Namdev, who was a great disciple of Krishna and would have visions of Krishna in the temple regularly. And one day during a f temple festivity, there was also another saint in the village that uh, was a potter. And all the villagers were there, and the potter saint was there, and the potter saint had the idea that he was going to start sort of slapping the devotees that are around because he slaps pots to see if they have, an, uh, have a crack in them and see if they're solid. It depends on the sound of the, of the pot when he slaps them. So he was going around slapping the devotees. Devotees thought it was fun that the saint must be giving them some spiritual blessing. And the potter saint came up to Namdev and slapped Namdev, and Namdev was outraged. He said, why did you slap me? And the potter saint said, oh, there's a crack in this pot. And so Namdev went running to Krishna. Krishna, can you believe? I'm so indignant. This potter saint just slapped me in front of all my devotees. And Krishna said, hmm, but Namdev, you do have a crack in your pot. And so Namdev prostrated himself in front of Krishna and said, what can I do, Lord? What can I do? I want to be one with you. I want to, all my delusions removed. And Krishna said, well, you need a guru who can show you the way. And he said, why do I need a guru? I already see you, the Lord of the universe. Why would I need a guru? He said, you may have visions of me, and I may be able to give you wise advice and, and guide you. But you need, let me just read this exactly. He said, you need a guru. Um, I can't lead you out of delusion. Only through the medium of one who knows me, you need a guru. So he told Namdev the name of the guru, the village. Namdev went to the village. And the villagers said, oh, that crazy lunatic, you'll find him over there in the temple. So Namdev goes to that temple and sees this disheveled, dirty man laying on the floor with his feet touching the Shiva Lingam. He goes running over to the man and says, what are you doing? Your feet are on the Shiva Lingam. And the man said, oh, I'm just so old. Please, just move my feet wherever there isn't a Shiva Lingam. And so Namdev immediately moves his feet to another spot. And underneath his feet, there appears another Shiva Lingam. And so Namdev moves the man's feet again. And again, there's another Shiva Lingam. And then Namdev understood and said, oh, you are my guru. I am so sorry for doubting you. And the guru said, God is everywhere, Namdev. Realize him in yourself and behold him residing in all things. And then the, his guru touched him on the heart and he went into to cosmic consciousness and he saw the divine vision. He saw God in every atom of creation throughout space, through every person and creature. And of course, he saw God within himself and realized that God, in fact, was himself. And so... He went wandering the countryside in Samadhi for a couple months and finally wandered back to the village where the Krishna temple was. And he went inside the Krishna table, temple and sat down and meditate. And Krishna said to me, Namdev, you've neglected me. Where have you been? And Namdev said, my beloved, how could I think of coming um, went here to see you when I see you everywhere? And Krishna said, ah, oh, okay, there's no more cracks in that pot. So, so until we understand that God is in everything and God is fully in us and that is our true identity, we will be bound to the fears, the darkness, the limitations of this body, of this world.